Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Academic Coordination. In this video, we're tackling the inclination of a line, right? Specifically for grade 11s. However, even if you're in other grades, just grab that pen and paper and let's do this together. Okay, guys, the inclination of a line, what we are speaking about? We are speaking about an angle, theta, right? This angle that a line makes with a positive x-axis, right? So this is the angle right here. Theta will be here. Um, our main goal here is to find this angle theta. You know what I'm saying? Um, however, I would like to mention it to you guys that when your gradient is positive, just like these lines, you know, your theta will be an acute angle, right? And then when your gradient is um, negative, you know, if you've got a negative gradient, um, then your theta... Uh, will be an obtuse angle an obtuse angle and then we're gonna see how we are gonna get that you know what i'm saying okay guys the angle of inclination is related um the angle of inclination is related to the gradient of a line of a line or a straight line right it is related to the gradient of a line let's just draw something right here and then let's say you've got something like this um then there's our theta right there okay um okay this is the y axis this is the x axis then there's a zero right there okay so you want to find theta right here you know what i'm saying it is related to the gradient of a line in that let me just write this in red right here okay the angle of inclination um, has got this definition so tangent of theta is equals to the gradient of a line this is a very important equation you know what i'm saying okay so basically we are looking um here at this point right here and this point so as we did on trigonometric ratios um, this is the opposite of theta and then this is the adjacent side of theta so that is the tangent of theta right so whenever you are asked to find the inclination of a line just know just know that it is related to the gradient of a line okay so i just want us to do examples so that we can appreciate you know the the, the, the this tool of the inclination of a line okay guys first of all i just want us to look at vertical lines when i taught you guys about um gradients you know what i'm saying um i taught you on vertical lines okay so this is a vertical line for example so let's say you've got this is a vertical line and what is the angle that this line makes with um, um the positive x axis it's actually 90 degrees you know what I'm saying? So let's say we are just interested right now. We want to find um, the gradient of this line, right? So we're going to say 10 of theta will equal to the gradient, right? I just want to emphasize on what we spoke about previously as far as the gradient of a vertical line is concerned. Okay, the gradient of this line, we can say 10 of, of um, 90, right? 90 degrees is equals to what okay then in here guys we are definitely gonna get an answer which is undefined right because of a vertical line have got an undefined gradient you know what i'm saying so yes um there is an angle that the line makes with a horizontal um, um, um axis right here but the gradient of the line is undefined what about the horizontal lines the horizontal um, line right okay cool so just imagine you've got a line like this right here then you've got another line there so what is the angle that is being made there so the angle of a horizontal line is actually zero right so um it, there is a zero degree angle right there right and what is the tangent of zero the tangent of zero is zero right so the gradient of a horizontal line just to emphasize is a zero you know what i'm saying okay cool 
Okay, now let us just go to a, a live example where guys you, you where you guys will see how this thing is applied. Okay, cool. Let's say we've got an example right here. Example. Um let's say you're asked to find um find um the angle of inclination inclination right of a straight line of a straight line let me just write sl of a straight line that passes through that passes through um three and one these are the coordinates and negative two and negative four okay so let's say you've got this example and they ask you guys to find you know um um, um the angle of inclination right here you know what i'm saying okay cool first of all here are given two points and then you know that this is the relationship as far as the inclination of a line is concerned tangent of theta is equals to um m the gradient so first of all you're gonna find the gradient of this line so it's gonna be the m of this line i don't know what line is it but let's say let's call it l right so you know that the gradient is the change in the y divided by the change in the x all right so our gradient equals to let's take this as y1 um sorry as y2 or whichever one you take right you will get the same answer so negative 4 minus um 1 divided by negative 2 um minus 3 right this is equals to this is going to be negative 5 divided by um negative 5 right so this equals to 1 so now your gradient right here is a 1 but you're not looking for a gradient. They ask you to find the angle of inclination, right? So you're going to come here. 10 of theta is equals to the gradient. What's the gradient? The gradient is 1. And then now you get here. You're like, okay, um, I've got my gradient. I just need theta. What do you do? So you're going to find the arc tangent. The arc tangent, right, um, of your gradient right here of one then you're gonna find your angle this will actually be your theta you know what i'm saying okay guys so if you put this in your calculator let me just bring my calculator right here so if you now uh, find where the arc tangent is you go, you, you go shift then you say tangent of the gradient one then your theta is 45 degrees right 45 degrees so in this case you're able to find your theta okay and so this is your angle of inclination and if i can just put it to you guys i'm sure you guys you remember the tangent graph right so the tangent graph is like this so this is an asymptote there's also an asymptote right here so this is 90 degrees this is negative 90 degrees right here. You know what I'm saying? So it is not defined here, all right? And then also here it is not defined. And that's why if you look here, um, we actually got um, an undefined value because of even the, gra the, um, the, the, the tangent graph at 90 is undefined. Okay, guys, let's go to the second example real quick. Okay, example two, all right? Okay, now, so basically, they ask you to find the equation of a straight line, right? That SL is a straight line that passes through, that passes through, right? This point, negative 2 and 4, right? And that is not all. It has got a gradient, um... So not a gradient, it has got an angle of 135. Okay, guys, so you can imagine if the angle is 135, um, let's just draw a, a line right there. So this is the y-axis, the x-axis. So if the angle is 135, right, this is 
um, an obtuse angle. So our line must be something like this, right? You know, so basically here we're expecting a negative gradient as I've said to you guys that whenever you've got a negative grad, sorry, um, if you've got a negative gradient, you're going to get an obtuse angle, right? So an obtuse angle will, will actually correspond to a negative gradient. Okay, guys. So in this case, what in the world are you going to do? You've got the angle, right? That the line will make. And then you've got a point. First of all, you're going to find the gradient using the same equation. Tangent of theta is equal to the gradient, right? So you, wanna, you want the gradient... You know, you are looking for the equation of a straight line that will be in the form y is equal to mx plus c. This is the equation of a straight line that you are looking for, right? Okay, cool. So you want your gradient and then you want your y-intercept. So the important thing is the gradient. So what will be the gradient? The gradient will be the tangent of theta. What is theta? Theta is 135 degrees, right? So go to your calculator. The tangent of 135 degrees. Just make sure that your calculator is in, is in degrees right there. So it's negative 1. That is your gradient. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So now you got your gradient and then you got a point. You know? So I'm sure you guys are familiar with this equation. Y minus Y1 is equal to M into X minus X1. Okay, cool. We can use this equation or we can use this one, you know. So, um, let me just use this one. Y minus, okay, we have got one point. So, this is our point right here. What is, so our Y1 will have to be this one. So, Y minus 4 is equal to negative 1, right, into um, X minus this one. So, minus minus 2 right here. So what does that equal to? Um, y minus 4 equals to um, negative x. Okay, right here, negative multiplied by a negative is going to be a positive, right? Okay, well, let me put it like this. x plus 2, you know, so that you guys will not be confused. Okay, cool. So y is equals to what now okay we're gonna take this for the other side or we're gonna add for both sides you know so it's gonna be negative x right uh, x, a negative one multiplied multiply by two is a negative two negative two take this four to the other side when it goes to the other side it's gonna be positive so plus four so what is our equation of the line y is equals to negative x um negative 2 plus 4 this is 2 right so this is the equation of our line right okay so let's just draw this line right here okay y x okay cool so we've got a point negative 2 negative 2 somewhere here and 4 so it passes through here this line of ours okay I'm just gonna draw it real quick. You don't have to draw it if they never ask you to draw. I don't think they will because this is um paper two. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. I'm just uh, uh, doing it. Okay, it has got a negative gradient, so our line is gonna be something like this. You know what I'm saying? And um, um, where is it gonna touch the x-axis? It's gonna touch the x-axis when y is equals to zero. So it's gonna be zero right here. Um, equals to negative x plus two. So if you take negative x, the other side is going to be positive. So it's going to come here, right? So our line will be something like this, you know? Okay, if you guys don't know how to draw lines or how to sketch lines, you can watch one of my videos of functions. So tell me, what is this angle? This angle is 135 degrees. Okay, guys, do stay blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day. Tell me if you're uncertain about anything. This is the inclination of a line. I might do part two of this video so that you guys can be acquainted with, um, you know, exam type questions. Do stay blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day.